It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, guys, I think the lesson we all learned this week is never break up with Taylor Swift. <laughs> or she will sing about you for 10 minutes on national television. <laughs> at the very least, at the very least, return the scarf. <laughs> but in real news, I, I don't really know what's real anymore, ex-Trump <laughs> advisor Steve Bannon, seen here moments after shooting out of a sewage pipe, <laughs> Sorry, I, I should use his full name. Stephen K. Bannon, the K stands for three Ks, <laughs> was indicted this week for contempt of Congress. And convicted, Bannon would face up to two years in prison, which, from the looks of him, might be a life sentence. <laughs> Legal experts are saying that Kyle Rittenhouse crying on the stand as he described how he shot his victims will help him with the jury. Man, is there a White Tears Law School that I don't know about? <laughs> I notice that every time y'all get in trouble, you start crying and everything just works out for you, whether you're trying to beat a murder charge or trying to be a Supreme Court justice. <laughs> Prosecutors have asked a judge to sentence Jacob Chansley, the January 6th insurgent known as the QAnon shaman, to 51 months in prison. They chose that because five plus one equals six. Six, six, six is the mark of the beast. Six plus six plus six is 18, minus one for one nation under God, equals 17, and the 17th letter of the alphabet is, say it with me, Q. It almost makes too much sense. Something wrong with you, man. <laughs> A judge on Friday officially ended Britney Spears' conservatorship after 13 years. The media is very excited that she's back on her feet so they can knock her right back down again. <laughs> Senator Josh Hawley, whose middle name is Um Actually, said in a speech that after years of being told their manhood is the problem, men are turning to pornography and video games, which is not true. I also drink. <laughs> Elon Musk sold nearly $5 billion in Tesla stock after he polled his followers on Twitter and they told him to do it. Which is good news, because the poll's other option was kill a drifter. <laughs> <laughs> a judge ruled that Texas Governor Greg Abbott's executive order banning mask mandates in school violated the Americans with Disabilities Act. Because in Texas, you have to treat the disabled with care and respect until the day you execute them. <laughs> It was, I don't know why I thought that'd make you laugh. <laughs> it was announced that New York City SantaCon, which was canceled last year, will return this December. So the answer is nothing. The pandemic taught us nothing. 